It's a weird selection process that we have. It's dating, really. Is, it's how we evolve as dating. It's how we choose each other. And dating is a real drag for a lot of people, but I always think it's a nice thing. You know, when I see a date, I'm always happy. When I see a couple on a date, because it means people are still trying, you know? You see a couple on a date, it means there's still courage out there. That takes courage to go on a date for both sides. Two very different kinds of courage. The male courage, traditionally speaking, is that he decided to ask. He went up to a random woman who he has no idea if she's gonna like him or not, and he walked up to her, terrifying. Everything in your body's telling you, just go the fuck home and jerk off, don't do this. <laughs> but he walked up and said, hi, Jesus. <laughs> and she's like, eh, no, 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 it's like, give me a second. <laughs> you try to get through this membrane of, you know, and then if it works and you say, you wanna go out sometime? Sometimes she'll say yes. And if she says yes, that's her courage. And the courage it takes for a woman to say yes is beyond anything I can imagine. A woman saying yes to a date with a man is literally insane and ill-advised. And the, the whole species existence counts on them doing it. And I don't know how they, how do women still go out with guys? When you consider the fact that there is no greater threat to women than men. We're the number one threat to women. Globally and historically, we're the number one cause of, of injury and mayhem to women. We're the worst thing that ever happens to them. That's true. You know what our number one threat is? Heart disease, that's the whole thing. That's it. Just our own heart going, dude, I can't, you can't keep doing this. I told you three strokes ago that this is not smart. But women still think, yeah, I'll go out with you alone at night. What are you, nuts? I'll get in your car with you with my little shoulders. Hi, where are we going? To your death, statistically. How do they still do it? If you're a guy, try to imagine that you, uh, you could only date a half bear, half lion. And you're like, oh, I hope this one's nice. I hope he doesn't do what he's going to do. <laughs> I, always, I love when I see a date. You know when you see a date, you can tell it's the first date because the way they're, wa they're walking together and she's looking up at his face trying to figure him out and he's just a mess. <laughs> a guy in a first date is just, he has no actual personality. He's just a mishmash of different kinds of dudes for a couple of seconds each. <laughs> just anything. No cohesive, just like a, like a ransom note cut out of a lot of magazines. <laughs> Just, you know, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, I think so too. <laughs> Whatever, just like a blind dick in space, just thrusting in infinite directions, hoping to find pay dirt at some place. And then sometimes you see a date that's later down the line and something has happened. There's something that happens in a date that I never get to witness, because women do this. They get to do it inside, they get to just decide quietly. I'm gonna let him fuck me. They just get to decide. <laughs> Something he says, and she's like, that was good, he's gonna fuck me later. And he has, he has no idea. There's still, he's still like trying all this shit. He still has no idea he's already in there. <laughs>